Okay, so I have a field that I am wanting to, to build up. Um, there's just one slight problem with it. <coughs> uh, it's a tubeless rim, which is nice. But that means that <coughs> the spoke holes do not go all the way through to the inside of the, the rim. So the big question is, <coughs> how do I get these nipples, the spokes, into the spoke holes? Um, because what you'd normally do is just simply drop them in from here, pop them on the other side, and tighten up the, <coughs> the spokes. So after looking around, um, I didn't find anything terribly useful on the internet, on YouTube, that said how to do it. Um, Campag have got a, a special magnet um, and um, nut that helped me to do it, the bolt rather. Um, so I had to go and work out a sensible approach uh, and I thought I would show you how I've done it. So, what you'll need, <coughs> a rim, you'll need a bunch of spokes, maybe I'm just using these temporary spokes just to get the, the nipples in and set up, I've got proper um, bladed spokes that I'll use later. Obviously the nipples themselves. <coughs> And to get the job done, some thread, preferably some fairly strong thread, but not very thick thread, it needs to be quite light, uh, a piece of wire, a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, and a hacksaw. Now, I'm not showing you what the, uh, the hacksaw, because I've already used it for what I need. So, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to take our nipples one by one, we're going to put some thread through, we're going to um, use a screw to hold the thread in place, drop it in, fish it out, and, and put it through, I'll show it in a But, <coughs> um, the first thing we need to do is get a thread that will go into a nipple. Um, and I couldn't find any screws in my little box of uh, various screws. So the easiest thing to do is to take um, a cheap um, spoke and just cut the threaded part off. So I've done that already, hence the hacksaw. So I've done that already. And I don't think I'd uh, excite you with wasting time showing how to do it. So we've got our thread. Um, then we take a piece of wire and make it into a hook and all will become clear very shortly. Now here's a good old Blue Peter fashion one that I prepared earlier but it's just simply take some um, not terribly strong wire, I think this is 22 gauge um, and make a nice little hook uh, and we're more or less ready to go. So what we do is unravel a bunch of thread and then Poke the thread through the nipple. Now the important thing is, is to put it the correct way through the nipple, otherwise you'll go through the whole hassle of the first one and realise you put thread in the wrong way around and have to pull it out again and start again. So <coughs> the thread goes in from the, um, not from the nut side, but from the, the side that, that the spoke goes into. So you just pop that in, pops out the other side, don't need to tie a knot or anything. I usually leave about a um, couple of centimetres poking through. <coughs> and then we take our, um, effectively our bolt, and screw it in, it's a little bit tricky because there's no head on it. And it can be difficult because the thread is in there as well. So it doesn't have to go all the way in, but it needs to be firmly in and make sure the thread is held in place. So that's part one. Part two. We take our wheel <coughs> and we've got our valve hole. Now, the important thing is, is to make sure you start, you drop it into the valve hole, doesn't matter which way around, and then you shake it all the way down and you need to start at the holes opposite the valve hole and work your way back. Because otherwise, if you've got spokes 
already in here and you're trying to get third pass to a low price for guessing what kind of trouble you're going to get into. So this is the fun part. And depending on how smooth the inside of the wheel is, <coughs> you may get this dropping down. You may have to do a lot of shaking. Looking through the holes, we should hopefully be able to start to see how many guy going through. Yeah, see, so there's quite a lot of friction there, so it's not dropping down. You can see the thread at this hole, at that hole, it's there. You're getting there. Further to go. The holes at the bottom are the definitely the hardest. I'm just getting this. The nipple to drop down is surprisingly difficult. I'm just about what I just saw it, so I'm just there. Lift it up further. Right, that's it. So now that it's there, we take our little hook. Pop it in and hook the thread, which is sometimes easier said than done. And that's it. Nope, this one's been a bit awkward. Uh, of course, it would have to be the first one that I record is. Awkward. Let's shake it a little bit more. Alright. That is hopefully better. So take my hook. In we go. Oops. A bit fiddly, I'm afraid. And that's it. That's better. Now what I've found is the best thing to do is once you've got the thread out <coughs> put it to the valve hole, sorry, put it to the hole is exactly at the bottom and in that way the um, nipple hangs down and you can pull it up through the hole and there we go, we've got it poking through next step, take pliers just simply to hold the nipple Bit awkward trying to hold the wheel up so you can see, but uh, hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. So, we've got our nipple here, and then this is slightly awkward. Unscrew our little bolt. That's sometimes easier said than done, depending on how tight it's wanting to be. Over there. That's it. Thread out. And then stick in a temporary, in this case, temporary um, spoke. And then once we're happy, we've got a spoke secure. Simply push the spoke up out of the way and pull the thread back out. Now, the key things are to make sure you do all this gently. If you find <coughs> that anything is going wrong, you definitely do not want to pull the thread hard, because if you do, then it will break, and you'll end up with the joy of trying to fish this out from inside the rim. So you really want to do everything really gently. So let me do another one. So threading it in from the spoke side. Sometimes the thread doesn't want to go in. Sometimes you have to blow it through. And sometimes it doesn't want to do anything. There we go. So, thread through. You see. Hopefully you can see. And take our little threaded bit 
pop it in, give it a couple of turns, make sure thread and bolt are secure, and drop it in through the second run. So what I do is, so that's the first and opposite, I'll do this one and then that one and then that one, work my way back up the wheel until I get close to the top and I'll show you what we do when we get close to the top. You really want to make sure you don't get the thread tangled up in the spokes that you've already dropped in. So, it in, do the shake of honey. snaps and then you've got the fun and games of trying to get this wee bugger back out from inside the wheel which is not easy. I had to do it once and I don't want to do it again. So sensible thing is find the hole which is about there. Roll the thread round until you get to that hole and that's roughly how much thread you want to give it. Okay? If you give it that much and not much more then you shouldn't get tangled up. So if I don't let it go any further than that, I think I just saw the thread. So again, get the hole, go into right there. Drop 
got two more spokes and don't need to thread there. So last two spokes. Dead easy. Is it thread away? Last two spokes, dead easy. Just stick it up.